If you're watching this video, chances are you want to be more productive. Squeeze more juice out of your days. And I know how everything seems to get in the way of our daily goals. But don't worry, I've been kind of obsessed with working routines and performance for years. And today I'll tell you everything I've learned about time management. Nothing complicated, quite the opposite. Actually, I believe simplicity is the name of the game when it comes to getting things done and managing your time like a pro. This video is brought to you by NordPass. I'll be telling you more about them later, but first, let's talk about time management. I only use two apps to track my time and work tasks every day. Notion, the most powerful project management tool I've come across so far, and Rise, my time tracker. If you want to be truly efficient, you need to make your workflow as simple as possible. That's why I have everything in one program. It makes my life easier. Right, before we get into the best way to manage our time, it is crucial to understand how our energy works. I've talked about this many times before, I'm sorry, but I can't stress this enough. Finding your most optimal working time during the day is the most important factor to do your best work. And I know, finding that time is a bit tricky. Experts tend to overcomplicate things, they talk about chronotypes, the circadian rhythm, and other terms that are just boring and difficult. So let's keep it simple. Whether you are a morning or a night person, you'll have your best energy 2-3 to three hours after waking, and you'll have that energy for about 4 hours. So you need to protect that time of the day with your life. It's the best time of the day. Then you'll have a dip for about 2 hours, the worst time of the day to do work, and then the energy comes back until it's time Time for bed again. We'll work the same way. If you want to learn more about time, you are a time nerd, I'll link a book recommendation in the video description. With that information out of the way, let's talk about how to manage those windows of good energy efficiently. But hey, do you ever try to log in into an account but for some reason you can't? You forget your password and it's an ordeal to gain access again and your productive morning is gone. With Norpass Business, you'll never have that problem again. Norpass is the best business password manager in the game. A platform where your company's digital wealth is safely managed, you'll save time and energy allowing you and your team to focus on what matters the most. When I started being a freelancer, the collaboration with different teams, different companies, different platforms, and all of these passwords was a big hassle. But ever since I found Norpass Business, I don't have to worry about that information ever again. How often do you or your colleagues keep passwords in notebooks on sticky notes and scatter spots on work computers. What if they call in sick and you don't have the passwords needed to do your day's work? Precious time wasted. NordPass is the burden of access to business accounts, making it possible for your team to work across devices and apps uninterrupted. Important. Log in to your accounts in seconds. Safely share sensitive data with your colleagues and make payments efficiently with a click of a button, backed by the highest standard of cyber secure technology. Digital security is important, guys. See NordPass business in action now with a free trial, three months for free. Insane. Using my special code Robert Business, I'll leave all the information in the video description. Let's jump into Notion. I have this page, get it done with everything I need to do. It's the weekly to-do list and their personal templates in Notion. I've done some tweaking to my liking. There are two sections, monthly and weekly. I used to have the monthly in another page, but now it's here on top and I like to hide the tasks, otherwise I get overwhelmed by everything I need to do. You can do that using toggles and the weekly tasks underneath. I happen to be a morning person and I hate it because by 8 p.m. I'm already sleepy, ready for bed. When people ask me out, I'm like, can we go at 5? They're like, are you 10 years old? So I wake at half five and two hours later, I'm ready to work. There is always one or two highlights for the day, the most important tasks to get done no matter what. This is something I learned from Ali Abdal and it's helped me be more intentional about work. Great tip. Then I distribute the things I'm gonna do in time blocks. Time blocking for me, it's the best way to plan my working sessions because I am more realistic about the things that I can actually get done during a time frame and when I am at my best to do them. For example, on Monday morning I had a long video editing session because I feel more alert in the morning. The same day I had a creative session from 4 to 6 because I am more relaxed and creative in the afternoon. I also use toggles here to hide the tasks of the rest of the day so I can really focus on that specific thing I need to get done during that time block and forget about everything else. And if by the end of the block I couldn't finish the task then I move it to the next block and so on until I finish. Something I try to do if I can is leave my admin work, emails, bills or more planning for the end of the morning because sometimes you find 
find problems when you read your emails every single time and that can ruin your morning so for me it's better to get stressed at that time of the day when i'm done with the most important work for the day now during those time blocks i do the pomodoro technique and that's when rice gets in the game remember the time tracker sometimes it's difficult to start working but if you think in 25 minute working sessions it's not that difficult to sit down i tell myself i'm just gonna do one pomodoro and before i know it i've done like five that's half of my working day so if you struggle to get started with work or motivation take action something as simple as one pomodoro can change everything before i start a task say edit the thumbnail for this video i set the timer usually 25 minutes but you can make it shorter or longer depending on what you're doing i've tried different times half an hour 45 minutes one hour and i find 25 minutes to be the sweet spot for me it's all about doing little experiments to see what works best for you. This trick adds a bit of pressure, the good tension that can help you improve the quality and quantity of your work because when you only have 25 minutes to do something, you'll be surprised by how much value you can cram into it. What's special about Rice is the software tracks every single action you take on your laptop. You get a detailed report of how focused you're being and what apps or websites are interrupting you while you work. It's an extremely thorough report of your day, a great asset to be productive. And the reason I find this important is not because I am in love with hassle culture, quite the opposite actually. I am a big proponent of a four hour work day. I'm still working on it, obviously, but I don't think you need more than that. You just need to deeply focus on the task at hand. And if you do that, deep work, you do so much more than 80% of people, trust me. Now, there are many things you can do to be more productive, like putting your phone away, building a great home office, drinking coffee at the right times, taking supplements, eating fatty foods. All of them are great, I'm sure. But for me, these two techniques, time blocking and Pomodoro, are two of the best ways that help me get into flow and deep work. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.